Look around the room, look in this audience. Because one day, many years from now, we're gonna look back saying, who is that group who was committed to preserving this historic jail? The only historic landmark for the former branch movement on the Central Coast. These very steps that you saw in the video that Cesar Chavez came down and spoke and described that jail. Uh, what's it showing that clip is that when he got out, the first thing he said is that he was treated very well by the deputy sheriffs of Monterey County. That he was treated with respect and dignity. He was incarcerated here for 20 years, uh, 20 days. But I was, um, I want to say though, you know, it seems like many years ago, that many of us in politics today, as a Latino, have a lot to thank those early pioneers, those trailblazers who fought for civil rights, fought for more representations in local government. We're standing here today on the sacrifices on the shoulders of those giants that were here in 1970. So we have much to acknowledge to those legendary leaders who stood up for farm workers and for our communities many decades ago. So we're honored to be here with the county, but to be with the city of Salinas, also recognizing this special historic day. Thank you, Supervisor Alejo, and thank you to everyone that's here today. Um, it's a great, a great day for the city of Salinas and the county of Monterey and all of us that are here, our community. I don't know about you, but I was, I was holding back tears as I saw the film and just remembering the cause, the causa. But again, um, I'm going to make it short and I want to present this to, um, in behalf of the entire city council, the mayor, who had to leave to the Alliance of Monterey Area Preservationists for their commitment to educating the community about the value of recognizing, preserving, securing, and displaying Monterey County's historic assets and their dedication to sharing the area's rich cultural heritage with residents and visitors. Thank you so much. This means a lot to, our, to the residents. Thank you, and this is for you. So let's give them an applause, come on. I guess to um, you, Supervisor, from, from the City of Salinas for preserving the Monterey County Jail. That means a lot to us. And we look forward as residents to, wow, what's going to be the vision, right? So again, Supervisor, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Appreciate it. The, thank you, Gloria de la Rosa. Appreciate your support. Next, we want to invite Andres, Andres Chavez, grandson and sister Chavez, to come up here once again. Give a round of applause, everybody. The next generation of Chavistas. Thank, thank you, Supervisor Alejo, and once again, thank you for your leadership on this effort to uh, preserve an important part of California history. Um, on behalf of the Cesna Chavez Foundation, the United Farm Workers, and all of us in the farm worker movement, uh, we want to thank the uh, Alliance of uh, Monterey Area Preservationists for inviting us to this very historic and special event. You know, I wasn't around 50 years ago when these events took place, as you can imagine. Uh, but I remember hearing stories from my dad about him being worried that his dad was going to have to spend the holidays behind bars. He was very worried that that was going to be the first Christmas he didn't get to spend it with him. And then I also remember seeing the videos that we watched in the, there today. And oftentimes when we look back at history, we see that those who have been on the wrong side have always used fear, hate, and violence in an attempt to deter their opponent's cause. And that surely was the case here in Salinas when, George, when Judge Gordon Campbell uh, put an anti-boycott injunction and hauled my Tata C to the jail. What history also shows us is that those on the right side of history often display tremendous courage. And my Tata displayed tremendous courage when refusing to call out the boycott by simply saying and defiantly saying, boycott the hell out of them. Now, you know, um, the lessons learned 50 years ago today, learned 50 years ago, nearly 50 years ago, still apply today. And I think it would be um, a real disservice to all those people who stood for justice if this plaque merely served as writing of historical facts that happened nearly 50 years ago. And so I hope that this plaque stands for more than that. It stands as a source of inspiration and as a call to action to be courageous and to always stand on the right side of the history. Whether it's continuing to resist the separation of families or continuing to support farm workers' rights to organize. So I thank you all very much for, for joining us here today. Remember that in these battles, uh, we must not lose hope and we must always remember the words si se puede, but more, important, but more importantly recognize that these words were not just a rally cry of a movement of the 1960s and 70s, but that these words are alive and well today and will be in the future to be that source of inspiration 
for all of our battles for justice and equality. So I thank you all very much. And I want to take a little bit of time to recognize uh, some farm workers who are with us. Por favor, todos los campesinos que tienen las compañías de arrigo y premier pueden levantar sus manos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andres. Thank you very much. Uh, next, Lauro Barajas, Vice President of United Farm Workers. Lauro, ¿dónde estás? And then after that, we'll have Chris Barrera come up, and then Francisco, and then we'll unveil the plaque. Francisco Rodriguez also. Whoops. Lauro. Hey, gracias, Luis. Um, <laughs> bueno, como estuvimos viendo, um, de que, y lo que sabemos es de que en el 70 César Chávez peleó por el boicot y por eso fue que entró a esta cárcel. Uh, pero lo que hizo César Chávez es que dejó, me hicieron una pregunta, que, ¿qué fue el resultado que dejó César Chávez? Se ganaron muchos uh, triunfos con él, pero en los últimos años Hemos ganado el Heat Regulation, en donde son leyes en favor para los trabajadores del campo. Se han ganado pleitos importantes de los pesticidas, el overtime. Lo ganamos en el 2016 y va a entrar en efecto el próximo año. El año pasado, trabajadores de la compañía de Premier salieron en huelga y Francisco es uno de ellos está aquí con nosotros y volvieron a salir este año uh, los problemas que teníamos en el 70 siguen estando presentes ahorita ganamos esa elección en Premier Berry Farms el año pasado ganamos la elección el, el, el mediador nos dio el contrato y todavía ley laboral no enforza ese contrato los trabajadores todavía están esperándolo entonces el pleito sigue. La otra cosa, quiero reconocer a los trabajadores desde arriba que están aquí presentes, a todos ellos. A la unión sin trabajadores no es unión. Y es importante que los trabajadores estén presentes. A Entonces me hicieron la pregunta, si no hubiera existido César Chávez, ¿qué hubiera pasado y qué dejó César Chávez? Dejó primero una unión que sigue peleando y que vamos a seguir peleando. Vamos a seguir organizando. Está la, la, la César Chávez Foundation en donde, bueno, acaba de pasar el, el hijo de Paul Chávez. Y está también la UFW Foundation que está haciendo trabajo aquí en Salinas y en todo el condado. Entonces... César Chávez no murió, está con nosotros y vamos a seguir para adelante. ¿Se puede? ¡Sí se puede! ¡Se puede! ¡Sí se puede! Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we want to call up uh, Chris Barrera with LULAC Council 2055. Is he here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, come on back this way, sir. Thank you, sir. There you go. Good afternoon. I am honored to be here today to be a part of this special event. And thank you to the County Supervisors and the Alliance of Monterey Area Preservationists for making this possible. When we first announced today's event on our Facebook page, it was amazing to see how many lives Cesar Chavez touched locally, either directly or indirectly. Many members either marched with Cesar or had relatives were here when Cesar was incarcerated. We are fortunate to have some of our members share personal stories about the times they met Cesar Chavez. So long after his death, Cesar Chavez continues to prove his unifying power. When I first became LULAC Council 2055 president, I worked to further the teachings of my childhood heroes. Chief among those heroes was Cesar Chavez. He was first known for championing farm workers' rights. However, his influence goes beyond the fields and his memory now embodies the fight for human rights for all. Usually a jail cell is seen as a symbol of oppression and despair. 
However, the fact that we are gathered here today proudly speaks to the strength of Cesar Chavez's message. Cesar's strength and leadership made this jail a symbol of hope and liberation. They tried and failed to break him when he sacrificed his freedom in the name of human rights. In these divisive times, when immigrant children are being put in, in cages and tear gas at our borders, we must strive to honor the memory of Cesar Chavez by fighting such injustices, demanding human rights for everyone. Cesar Chavez said it best, one social change begins, it cannot be reversed. You cannot uneducate the person who has learned to read. You cannot humiliate the person who feels pride. You cannot oppress the people who are afraid, who are not afraid anymore. We have seen the future and the future is ours. Thank you very much and Viva Cesar Chavez. That speaker, Francisco couldn't join it, but we have Cesar Lara for the Monterey Bay Central Labor Council. Watch your steps there, because no, 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 no. <laughs> Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm Cesar Lara with the Monterey Bay Central Labor Council, and uh, Francisco Rodriguez is going to be here, our secretary treasurer. But this is a symbolic moment for the history of Monterey County. We have a rich labor history that we all share here. But the one thing I remember that I actually had to go away to college to learn the history of the farm worker movement uh, more in depth was that Cesar Chavez said that he would never have started the United Farm Workers if it would die when he died. And Cesar Chavez lives among us and is part of us. Because as we continue the work that Laura Baraja said in the farm worker movement, and also in the labor movement nearby, is that we need to do it. Si se puede, like our sister Dolores said. is we need to continue this fight. We face this every day with the, with the organizing we do out in the fields and, and with teachers around pesticides around schools with California's for Pesticide Reform and SAS, Save Act to Save Schools or when we're trying to negotiate a good contract, because at the end, what, what the workers take home in buying power of farm workers has gone down since, since the 1980s. So our struggles are alive today, just like Cesar is among us today. And this is a symbolic step forward. Thank you to Luis Alejo's leadership, the rest of the Board of Supervisors, and all the community that put it together, because this is so symbolic to all the people that have died. In the farm worker movement, we have many martyrs, not just Cesar. And we have to remember them, and we have to remember the livelihoods that they bring to our community, and this is a big step forward. So thank you, Luis Alejo. Thank you for, for the association that's been fighting this for years. And at the end, si se puede. Am I right? Si se puede, brothers and sisters. Okay, so after the unveiling, we're gonna invite everybody for food, for the exhibit, and music by the legendary Noé from Teatro Campesino. Let's give Noé a round of applause. He's been performing, playing music for decades. We've got an honor to have you here, brother. You're a legend, I'm in Atlanta. So with that, we're gonna ask uh, Nancy, you want to say some words before we uh, unveil? I just want to thank everyone for coming. This means a lot to us. And we're, we were very proud to, to be here today. It's been, a, it's been quite a few difficult years, but we really appreciate all of your support. This building is a symbol of the future. So thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let's do the countdown. On one, two, three. Yay! Congratulations. You and Ariana. Thank you. Let's take a quick photo here next to the house. Oh, 